Hello investors and welcome back to Just Randy Stocks. During this video, I wanted to talk about Proterra, a company that I've talked about quite a bit. If you go back to my previous videos, they're all named ACTC, really easy to find. I'd go back and take a look at those because I'm not going to be going into that much detail with Proterra. If you don't know about the company, the short version is it's an electric vehicle bus play. I also wanted to talk about Lion Electric. I think this is one that you should also have on your radar as a potential add to your portfolio to either average down or to start a position. And I want to explain at what price targets and why. So let's get straight into it. And the first thing I wanted to look at was Proterra's price action and, and specifically the volume. So the last few days, the volume's been at around 6 million. So the average volume is 1.1 million. And I think that that average increased over the last few days. But the last two days previous to today, it was at 6 million. I've been watching this since it took that rough, I think it was like a 16% decline that initial day. And now it's the, the trading volume has started to taper off a little bit at 4.5. So we've seen 6, 6, and then 4.5. This might be getting to a point where it where it presents itself as a buying opportunity, but we'll take a look at the, the technical chart in just a moment. So there's a few reasons why Proterra stock price shot down, and this would be one of them. The Seeking Alpha report that stated Proterra expects to be solidly profitable by 2025, and they got this from the investor presentation based on a $3.4 billion market cap at current prices, and that was about $17, that the company is trading at nine times multiple of 2025 estimated free cash flow, and that struck them as expensive. Given the uncertainty that this price would be better at a 50% cut if it was cheaper, around $8 instead of the 17 that it was sitting at before this article was published. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Proterra, but I just want to make sure you don't have lofty expectations. And something to look out for that you're going to want to see as an investor is how are they going to handle this ramp up? of all of this customer adoption. And on this slide, it talks about co-locate factories at customer sites and in their capital investments, their grow CapEx, they've got 150 million to 225 million, which is a, a lofty estimate. And they have it blocked off for their expand battery capacity to five plus gigawatt hours, broaden vertical integration but this part right here, I'm, I'm just not seeing exactly what they plan to do as far as co-locating factories at customer sites. So I would say be sure to watch and, and listen for the next update call to see if there's anything as far as growth because they have two manufacturing facilities right now. And I just don't see those two facilities alone being able to handle the type of volume that this company is going to be expected to deliver and that could cause them to not grow at the rate that they need to and that's why I also wanted to talk about Lion Electric because they are doing some things that I believe are very smart. So with Proterra there is constant good news coming out. 10 US cities get low no grants to help buy Proterra electric buses. Not too far back President Biden did a virtual tour of Proterra's operations with the CEO and the staff there. And we still have the infrastructure bill, which should be a boost to the stock. So on slide 56 in their investor presentation, Proterra Financial's macro uncertainties add new dimensions of variability to our 2021-2022 outlook. So these supply chain constraints that we know most of these industries have had and the transit budget delays in 2021 could likely have a spillover effect to 2022. So they might be continuing to play catch up with both the global supply chain, inflation, some of these inflated prices, and you know this could cause delays with what they projected. So just a slide to pay attention to. I believe they try and highlight you know, warnings that you should pay attention to. Another thing is, is I know some people were caught by surprise on dates that are located in these public records, public reports. And on September 25th of 2021, warrants will become exercisable. So I wanted to make sure that you mark your calendar. If this is one that you own, 
September 25th of 2021. I believe that's a Saturday. So I would be careful that next Monday, potentially that Friday, you might want to take action on this. You might want to just be aware that right here it says warrants will be exercisable for our common stock, which if exercised would increase the number of shares eligible for future resale in the public market and result in dilution to our shareholders, which means the share price could go down. Let's take a look at the stock price. I want to look at the action. Yesterday, I drew a line at 3.30. I thought that this might hold up at 3.30. I didn't do a video because I, I realized once it busted below that 3.30 support line, so I marked one here for 3.10, and then I, I made another support line for 11.55, just looking back here on where it really was down uh, before it ramped up. And then if it, if it doesn't hold support here at 11.55, I would say mid 11.55 tomorrow, I could potentially see this going down to $10. So I don't think that it's going to go that far down, but... It could if it breaks through here. Now, I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity to buy as low as possible. So what I would suggest with the news from the Fed and inflation being a concern right now, I think tomorrow you could see a dip in the morning. But at some point, people are going to be like, this is ridiculous and they're going to start buying in. So I see this going back up. But I would be patient. So just a reminder. Anytime you start to get uncertain, just go down to the success stories and remember, Proterra has been doing this for 10 years and if you scroll down, all of these articles are examples of success stories with Proterra and I just, by chance, I, I started clicking on these and the, each one of these, I just did the first three, go directly to the page so if you... If you're looking at your your shares and, and you feel down, I would go to this page, visit them, just look at the buses, look at the adoption that's happened, and people are coming back and adding more. They may have a small quantity of these, and when you go to some of the pages like this third one, I couldn't find it. It didn't go directly to the page, but I went up here to the search and was able to find it whenever I put in electric buses. So I just tested it just to see if... They were throwing a bunch of bunch of uh, nice stuff to look at on their website, but these actually, for the majority, they go directly to a success story where electric bus adoption has happened with Proterra. And it's just hard to scroll through here and not understand why you are trying to be part of this huge future opportunity. So let me briefly tell you why I like Lion Electric, and I don't believe it competes with Proterra for market share. So there's a few things that you should pay attention to when you're making an EV play and that they have experience with doing it. So here, developing medium and heavy duty all electric vehicles and systems for 10 plus years. They're not new to doing this. They have over 390 vehicles on the road with 7 million miles driven on their platform. They have seven vehicles in their portfolio and they are developing eight new models to be commercialized in 2021 and 2022. I also like what I'm seeing with the manufacturing footprint. Not only can they do 2,500 vehicles per year, but they are building a facility that can handle 20,000 vehicles per year. So Lion Electric is doing both trucks and buses. Available today, you can see there's seven models here and eight models in development. With 2021, the focus is tractor and bucket, and then 2022, we've got utility, boom, and ambulance vehicles. So I, I really don't see this competing with Proterra. So besides the 10 years of experience and the obvious seven models that they have available now with Lion Electric and eight more coming on the way, this 900,000 square feet highly automated plant with a planned production capacity of 20,000 vehicles per year. I mean, come on, Proterra, what are you doing? Like, when are you going to invest and what, what is going on with this co-located factories at customer sites? If somebody knows out there, please let me know. So the rationale, closer proximity to the total addressable market, made in American branding because the other facilities in Canada, potential for 
municipality and state level funding, and then proximity to a larger pool of suppliers. So just a really strong strategic move by Lion Electric right here with the manufacturing facility. So Lion Electric, 1522, down 5% today. Their volume averaging about 3.1 million, only at 1.5, a little less interest in moving here. A 52-week range of $9.60 to $35 large wide open range and let's take a look at the technical chart so for lion electric i think this could test 13 dollars right now sitting at 1522 i don't think this one's finished dropping either so let's see what happens tomorrow so that's all i have for this video if you own either proterra or lion electric let me know in the comments below let me know what price point you're at if you've already bought in, if you're waiting to average down, or if you're thinking about starting position. And I'll see you guys in the next video.